Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing another side-by-side -side size comparison, and this is between the Asus Memo Pad 7 and the Kindle Fire 7. Now, both of these came out in 2014, so these are the newest versions of each one, and really, we're trying to see what the difference is between these two, and really, they went for the exact opposite design style. We have a short and a big width, or we have long and skinny. Yes, we're talking about tablets here. So, in terms of these two, which one do you prefer? So, let's put them side by side, and you can really just see such a height difference between these two. It really is. Uh, Asus, the one thing I will say about it is it's a very tall tablet in comparison. Um, I mean, I can see where the bezels come in handy for holding it when you're holding it sideways. And you know, you can really make sure you don't touch the screen, but I think it's a bit too much. And uh, between these two, that's where the height uh, difference is coming from. Now, how about the width difference? Well, when we put the Asus right in front of the Kindle, we can definitely see that the Kindle is much wider. And again, this is way, way wider in comparison. And that's because Kindle just uh, does about the same size as where Asus has big bezels on the top and the bottom Kindle just has a big bezel all the way around so uh, it's just much much wider in comparison to the Asus right here now how about in terms of thickness well in terms of thickness the two have a side right here where they both seem thinner but then they get bigger on the other side so for a more accurate depiction let's actually turn them over and see them at their biggest points so at their biggest points the asus is going to be thinner it's just a thinner style in comparison to the kindle however in terms of their back texture well there's a difference here i actually love the way the amazon kindle feels However, it is a fingerprint magnet and it sucks in terms of the look. The Asus one doesn't feel as nice. It still feels good. It really does still feel good. But this one, you're not gonna get any fingerprints on it. You're not gonna get like any oil from your fingers or anything like that. This picks up uh, fingerprints fairly easily, which is what I don't like about it. So in terms of the two back textures, I like the way this one feels, but I like the way this one looks in comparison between the two. But yeah, guys, so which tablet do you like better? Do you like the uh, smaller uh, but wider size? Or do you like the longer but thinner tablet? Let me know in the comment section down below. And stay tuned because we will do a full side-by-side -side comparison on these two tablets later on. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.